Okay everyone, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to connect a domain to your Wix website in 2021, all right? So to do this, just log in to your Wix dashboard. After that, just go to the top left corner, click on My Sites, and choose the website you want to connect your domain to. And you need to have a premium plan to do this, all right? So now go to the site you want to connect your domain to and just click on select site. We can see that we can find connect domain right here or just go to the left sidebar, click on settings. And under settings, we see the same thing, connect domain, click on that. So now you have two options. You can buy a new domain from Wix and store this domain on Wix. The problem is if you want to move your Wix website in the future to another platform, it's uh, a little bit harder to transfer the domain. But if you want to stick to Wix forever, just click on buy a new domain and search for a domain and see if it's available. Just click on search. And we can see that this one is available. Just click on get it. And now just follow the steps, choose the pricing plan and just continue to contact info, privacy and checkout. Simple as that. In this tutorial, we're going to connect a domain you already own or we can buy one right now. So I'm going to use a cheap domain provider called Namecheap. So just go to the description below and click on the link and this will take you to namesheep.com. I am affiliated with namesheep.com. That means if you buy a domain through my link, I will get a small commission. All right, so now I'm going to search for the same URL, Andreas Watts. I'm going to click on this red search button and we can see that this one is available. Just click on add to cart and just go to checkout and here you can choose one year up to five years if you want to alter a new. All right. And we just going to go down and click on confirm order and just create an account. Just fill in the information and click on create account and continue. And just click on check out with PayPal. And just follow the rest of PayPal payment steps to complete the order. Okay, so the purchase is complete. Now we can just go and hover over your username. Just click on dashboard. You can click right here on domain list. And here we have the domain. Let's go to this one. Manage. Click on that. Okay, so let's go back to Wix. Now we're going to click on connect a domain you already own. Just enter your domain. Go down to the bottom right corner, click on next. So we found your domain at Namecheap. Just click on this one. Yes, it's from Namecheap. Okay, so let's go back to Namecheap or your own domain provider. Just search for this one, name servers. Click on the drop down menu, click on custom DNS. And now we're going to add name servers right here. We're going to go back to Wix.com. We're going to copy the first name server, go back and paste it right here. Go back one more time to Wix.com and copy the second one. Go back to your domain provider and paste it right here. After that, just go to this uh, green check mark and click on save. Like that, let's go back to Wix.com. Go down and click on this one, verify connection. And if you get this message, just click on go to my domains. So it may take up to 48 hours before the name servers has uh, been changed. So as you can see, we have this, we're checking your domain connection. This process may take until the end of the day on Friday, January 15th. So this is 48 hours from now. Okay, so I waited for 40 minutes and Wix sent me an email that my domain is now connected. 
So it only took 40 minutes, so often it takes faster than 48 hours. But just be patient, wait for the connection, and after that you should see this one. Okay everyone, so if you like this video, please check out my full playlist on Wix tutorials in the description. So I hope you have an awesome day, take care and bye.